mental illness in the Bonohafu region, ca regional capital, Sunyani, who wandered through the streets is rising. Now, residents and commuters are urging authorities to rid the streets of these mentally ill persons. City News' is Michael Safo in form has the rest of the story. The World Health Organization estimates that 650,000 of the 30 million people living in Ghana are suffering from severe mental disorder and a further 2,166 are suffering from a moderate to mild mental disorder. The causes of majority of these illnesses include substance and alcohol abuse. One of the objectives of the UN's SDG3 is to strengthen the prevention and treatment of substance abuse, including narcotic drug abuse and harmful use of alcohol, despite the effort put in place by the Sunyani Municipal Mental Health Directorate to reduce mental health figures. The fight seems far from over in the Bunung region. In 2012, Ghana passed a new Mental Health Act which aimed to create a new system of mental health care in Ghana. The Act includes provisions for creation of a modern community-based mental health system and for the protection of the rights of persons with mental disorders. But since the act was passed, the impact is yet to be felt in Sunyani. The city is rather currently experiencing an influx of people living with mental challenges on East Street. And as a result, residents are worried. They are therefore urging the authorities, especially the Sunyani Municipal Assembly and the Mental Health Directorate to act swiftly. At first, there were not many, but as of now, everywhere you pass, you see those people around. And they are creating problems, especially filthy, you know, they're creating dust, rubbish everywhere. Some of them also possess um, materials such as harmful to the environment or to their people. I mean, I've stayed in Sunyani for 20 years now, so I know what I'm talking about. These people, out of nowhere, you see them on the streets. Um, when you ask um, the assembly people, they will tell you that they are in transit. So it seems they are moving from different towns to this place. And so we, have, we are calling on them to do something about it because it's very worrying. You don't know what might happen because these people are sick. Um, I should put it that way. They are sick. You don't know what is wrong with them. They might even attack you or your relative or uh, someone. Yeah, so I think they should do something about it. If, even if it's a facility, they can get and house them. They can get some sort of help, you know, to pick them out. Because it's, it's coming too much. I mean, as I, as I was coming, I've seen like four already. Yes, within this short distance. So it's very worrying. Looking at the situation, maybe they can harm you. For instance, when you are, when they are behind you, uh -huh, you may not know what they can do. I plead that they should try and get them off the road. I think that would be better. The Municipal Chief Executive for Sunyani, Justin Ausu Banahini, outlines what the Assembly intends to do about the situation. It's a duty of the Assembly to look at the well-being or the welfare of all the people, including both sound-minded people and, excuse my language, unsound-minded people, as the mental challenge people. And so, I think Sunyane or Bung and Ahafu, whether Bung East or West or Bung North or wherever, we don't have any mental hospital. Like we have Ankafu or Akras Akadi Hospital. And so I, together with my people at the assembly, Thursday, come Thursday, we're going to meet the assembly members and want to sit and discuss if we have to bus all of them to a mentally home, like Akras Akadi Hospital or Ankafu. Depending upon the answer that I'll get from my assembly members, then I'll make an effort. The Sunyani Municipal Mental Health Focal Person, George Gamadzi, on his part, blamed the increasing number of persons living with mental illness on the street of Sunyani on the breakdown of the social support system. Sunyani Municipality, you've seen people walking on the streets, uh, you say they are mentally ill, but we say they are vagrant. Yes, uh, for some time you've been seeing such issues around. Yes, those on the streets, they are vagrant because they are always on the move. Uh, 
Some of them might not come from Sunyani here, but some of them too might come from here. That's why they are in town. But however, seeing them on the street is, uh, is a very big issue. It's sometimes it's a double sword. It means that uh, it's partly on the part of the society or the community at large, and then partly on the on the patient. Because we have something called social support system. When you put a client, a mentally ill client or mental disabled client on a, on a treatment, and sometimes if there, there's a break in treatment regime, uh, you see that the condition can come again. We call it relapse or remission. So if there's a break in social support system, in the terms that the person, the client may not get money to secure the, the drugs, even if uh, the drugs are available, they don't have that kind of uh, support from the family to come for continuity of care, and sometimes to availability of the psychotropic itself. So these challenges will sometimes push the patient not to comply with the treatment regimen. And what will happen is that when you don't follow the treatment regimen, you relapse or you go into a remission. So and then if nobody is there to help you, nobody is there to support you, then what happens is that you leave the house and then now start roaming. The national chairman for the Ghana Coalition of NGOs in Health, Dr. Gabriel Benanku, also added his voice on what could be done to tackle the situation. What we have lacked over the years is lack of political will. That's the first critical thing. Because funding is by political decision. And once we don't have ally, one, we don't have adequate funding for mental health. One, we don't have the right infrastructure. One, we don't have the right human resource deployed. We have inadequate mental health officers or psychiatry. Automatically, the effects are those who could have been treated earlier are on the street. And those who are on the street, if you had specialists, we could have picked them and we can put them back to their family. So Sunyani, looking at our situation, how can we find this? We need to have multi-stakeholder tax force. Civil society, the district assembly, the regional health administration, the municipal health administration, the mental health authority, the traditional authority, Nananum, and the media. coming together, let's decide what we want to do to clean Sunyani Township. Families with mentally ill persons are being encouraged to ensure that their relatives seek early treatment to prevent them from walking on the streets of Sunyani. For City News, I am Michael Sapon in Fum. Now, a community day senior high school